Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Kaiweed Smart Digital Multimeter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you any extra. So this is model KM601. It says resistance, voltage, capacitance, and current. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so it comes in a case, comes with batteries, and it comes with a manual. So there's the contents. Like we have safety information. These are the parts of the meter. So it has a non contact voltage detector sensor, power button, 10 amp jack, milliamp jack, com jack, the live ohm uh, has everything on there jack. So that would be for your positive, your flashlight button, alarm indication light, colorful LED screen, functions and buttons, jack indication light, APO button, flashlight, organizer bag, K type thermocouple, and test leads. So that gives you an idea of what this is capable of. So this talks about the different buttons. So APO is auto power off. So what the different display icons are, talks about using it. So this is auto ranging or it has a smart mode so you can connect it up to something and it just figures out what you want it to do. It also has a manual mode, continuity test, capacitance measurement, going through here to see if there's like any specs. Okay, here are the specs. It looks like the manual is pretty well laid out. It has a lot of information in it. So display count is 999. Sampling speed is three times per second. LCD dimensions is 54 by 73 millimeters. Range selection is auto range. Range selection automatically displayed. Range selection OL displayed. Low battery indicator. Damaged fuse indication. Jack indication flash five times. Power by three 1.5 volt AA batteries. The weight is approximately 265 grams. Dimensions is 165 by 83 by 22 millimeters. Environmental conditions is category four. 600 volts, category three, 1000 volts. Max voltage between terminal and earth ground, DC 1000 volts, AC 750 volts. Fuse protection, milliamp is F600 milliamps, 250 volt fuse. 10 amps is F10 amps, 250 volt fuse. Work environment is 32 to 104 degrees F or zero to 40 degrees C at less than 80 degrees relative humidity. Storage temperature is 14 to 122 degrees F and minus 10 to 60 degrees C at less than 70 degrees relative humidity. Here are the accuracy specifications. Here's some more for AC current, capacitance, continuity, resistance, and here we go. And it has three year warranty on it. So let's get this opened up. It has this bag here. It has a strap on it to hold it. And here is the multimeter. So this does have kind of a silicone sleeve on it. It's kind of modeled after almost like a smartphone. It looks like a smartphone case. So this should fit in your pocket pretty easily as a smartphone would. So let me get this case off of here. There we go. Okay, so I have the sleeve off. I need to remove this screw now, and this is a number one screw. So you want to pay attention to the positive and negative there. Put the sleeve back on. So let's take a look at the leads it comes with. So this would be the thermocouple. So this is for measuring temperature. So there's a temperature probe here. And here are the leads. Let's get these up close here. You can see they say 1000 volts cat three, 600 volts cat four. So let's connect these up. So I'll go to com on my black one here, red one next to it. I'll hold this down to turn it on. There we go. So this does have an LCD screen. Okay, so I haven't learned anything about this yet, but I'm going to test it on something. I'll connect a battery. And here it's measuring voltage, it says 1.6 volts. Okay, seems a little high. I checked it with another meter and I got 1.58, so I guess that's about right. So let's check this nine volt here. So we have 8.747, okay. Here's a little button cell. Three point one four seven. Here's some resistors. We have four point six two one kilo ohms. Let's try continuity. I'll touch these together. Okay, so we had a light there and a tone. Let's try this battery backwards now and see if it can handle that. So it did say negative. Let's try it again. So that looks good too. I think that's pretty slick that this can figure out what you want to do with it. Let's try some mains voltage here. Now I can slip these off here. Carefully, I don't want to stab myself. There we go. So now, if you don't know what you're doing, do not stick anything in an outlet like this. It can be very dangerous. So a lot of outlets now are also tamper-proof, but this kilowatt is not. So I should be able to stick these in here and get a measurement. There we go. We have 123 volts. And it also tells us the hertz. So we have 59.99 hertz. Let's pull this up here so you can see. So it also has a manual measurement mode. It says press auto function. So I can click this and go through the different modes. 
So when I'm doing this, it's flashing these lights here, telling me what leads I need to plug into. Let me go to, let's see, that's the milliamp. So when I go to milliamps, it's saying plug into these two leads. When I go to amps, it's saying plug into these leads. That's a very nice feature for a beginner if they're a little bit confused on which leads they need to plug in. It also could be a good reminder if you know what you're doing. One time I accidentally had the wrong leads plugged in and a meter I was using started melting. So let's try capacitance. I've got a capacitor over here. This is 470 microfarad. So I'm not completely sure how to measure a capacitor. I haven't had a meter that can measure capacitors before, so. Okay, so I just need to hold down on it for a while. So it says 460, so that looks like it's good. So this could have a charge on it now. I'll just short it out. You probably shouldn't use your lead to short it out, but I did. So we did continuity. You can check diodes with it. I don't have a diode right here to test. You can do frequency, you can do temperature. Let's do the temperature probe. So if I switch to that, pull these leads out. I'll put these leads in. So it says 66 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll hold my finger on here to heat it up. And here it's going up. So we're at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. 26 degrees Celsius. This also has non-contact voltmeter like that. So I can hold that up to an AC line. So let's try this one here. So it looks like the center is right on the end here. So I'll hold that up and that says H. So that is hot. So that's a nice feature. It's nice that that's built into this meter so you don't have to have a separate one. So if you're using the non-contact voltage detector, what you want to do is you do want to test it on a known live wire so you know it works and then test it on that, say an outlet that you think should not be live. And then if it doesn't beep, you can know that there probably isn't voltage on it. Okay, so let's try this rel hold button. I have a 12 volt battery here. I'll put the leads under here. I'll press hold, take the leads off, and we're holding the value. So if you have something that's out of reach, like in a place where you can't see the meter, you can press that button and it will store the value temporarily. So we have the select button here. When you're in the voltage mode, you can hit it to go between AC and DC. Let's go to the live test. You can also use it here to go between, looks like the non-contact voltage and live. And it can also be used on the current test. So I need to change the leads here. So it looks like we have DC and AC current here. So we also have a range button here. So that's changing the decimal on your voltages. So that turns off auto ranging. So here's APO is auto power on off. So you can see that icon here. Here's flashlight. So there is a flashlight on here. So that's kind of handy. If you don't need a big flashlight and you just need to look at something real quick, you can press this button and there's a little flashlight. So that's the Kaiweet Smart Digital Multimeter. I really like the form factor of this. This will easily fit in my pocket. I like the rubber casing around it so I don't have to worry if it gets dropped. I'm not gonna throw it off things, but sometimes things get dropped a little bit. This should be very easy to use for a lot of applications because you can just turn it on and touch your leads to what you want to measure and it will auto figure out what you're trying to do. But it also has the manual functions on here. This has a lot more features than my other meters I have. This has the capacitance on it and that's something i'm doing these days a lot is when i have some broken electronics i'll swap out the capacitors and a lot of times i'll just swap them out because i didn't have a meter that could test them this way i can test them ahead of time to see if they're any good before i mess with unsoldering them and then having to order new ones of course continuity i use that a lot use voltage a lot when i work on car stuff a lot of times i'll use the amperage so that's a nice feature there too so to turn it off we'll hold down the power button and now it's off So probably one of the nicest features of this is this display is huge. And I have trouble seeing things sometimes. I sometimes wear reading glasses, but I can easily read this without reading glasses on. And since it's backlit, it's really easy to see in low light and it's easy to read at any angle too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.